What is this nonsense that I am hearing about? You don't use pivot tables anymore? Oh hey Chantu, ever since Excel came up with Power Pivot, I kind of stopped using pivot tables man. Whoa, what is Power Pivot? Power Pivot is an improved and supercharged version of pivot tables. We can use it to do a lot more with your data. Huh, so kind of like a superman is it? Here, let me show you. So here I have got some customer service employee data and if I want to understand how many people are there by department or what the average salary is, we can use a pivot table for that. To create the pivot table, I'll just go to insert ribbon, making sure that I have already selected one of the cells and hit the pivot table button. The only difference between a regular pivot table and a power pivot table is adding this data to the data model. So you check this button and now you're creating a power pivot. And in this pivot table, I'm going to put department into row label, name into values, and we will get a pivot of how many people are there by department. I don't get it. So far, it just looks like a normal pivot. Why would anybody use this? Aha, uh -huh. even Superman looks like a normal dude until he puts on the underpants on top. So let me show you the underpants of this power pivot thingy. The first superpower of Power Pivot is it can work with multiple tables. So here, instead of just the staff data alone, I do have a ticket data as well. So here are all the customer service tickets, who they are assigned to and what's happening for each of those tickets. Given this information, if I want to ask a question like how many open tickets are there for a specific department, it would be pretty hard to answer that from this data alone because here I only know the name of the person. I don't know which department they work in. So I would need to do a X lookup or a V lookup on this name into the other data set to figure out their department and then do the pivot on that. We don't have to do any of that. We can straight away go back to this pivot and from the active, if I switch to all, I'll see that my ticket table is also available for me here. So from the ticket, I'm going to take the status and put it into the column area. At this point, Excel asks me a relationship between tables may be needed. So I'm going to create a relationship. The relationship would be from the staff table, name column, map it to tickets table, assign to column. And we'll click OK. Now that the relationship is created, let's take out count of name and instead put the ticket number so that we can count the ticket numbers. Here I can see that finance department has closer 32 tickets or website department has closer 37 tickets. How awesome is this? That is cool. What else can it do? Can it fly? Can it hit the like button? It can't fly yet, but it can create new calculations on your data. But you, you can hit the like button. So do that and I'll show you how to create new calculations using Power Pivot. For example, let's build a pivot table that tells me how many tickets are there by department, how many people are there by department and how many tickets per person are there by department. To do this, you can select a blank cell where you want the pivot table, click on the insert and click on that little arrow and choose the from data model option. Because we have already built the data model, which is the concept of those two tables and their connections, we can straight away build a pivot from that without having to select the data again. So in this, I'm just going to put department, count of names, and then go to the tickets and count of the tickets. So 19 people in the finance department and 75 tickets for them. 27 people in procurement department, 123 tickets for them. So given these two numbers, if I want to now calculate a third number, which is tickets per employee, we can do that quite easily with Power Pivot. All you have to do is right click on either of these tables. Let's go with the tickets table and use the add measure option. This opens up another superpower of Power Pivot through which we can build custom calculations. So let's call this as tickets per employee and here we already have count of name and count of ticket number. So we just take these two and divide one with another. 
to access the values that are already there you just open a square bracket and select the count of ticket number divide that with count of name and we can apply a formatting on this so i'm going to say number format with one decimal places and click ok this will add an extra calculation to your table tickets per employee keep in mind that it won't add any columns to your data that calculation is kind of staying in the mind of excel and let's just add this here and we can see how the values look like for example it looks like hr department is a bit overloaded with almost 5.3 tickets per employee whereas finance department is a bit light on the work needless to say you don't need to have these two other columns to see this number you can take out those values and still the calculation works beautifully the measure that we have created uses a special language called dax and we can use that language to create not just simple calculations like this but even more complicated ones wow this dax thing i'm telling you man is really great can you tell me more about it sure man here is a video that talks a little bit more about dax click on it go ahead watch it bye